What's going on guys? So I've got kind of a weird one for you today. Um, as you can see, I've got a CRT TV right here. Uh, I've got a 4K monitor right here. And basically in this video, we're going to be seeing what happens when we play the Xbox Series X on two different TVs simultaneously. Uh, so that's the reason for my two TVs here. I've also recently done a video where I just played my Xbox Series X on a CRT TV. So go ahead and check that video out if you want to. Um, but yeah, basically it's going to be a little bit tricky. So I have a crap ton of cords over here. Uh, basically, so to get from the Xbox Series X, we have an HDMI splitter, which is right here. And basically, you got an HDMI cable that comes from the Xbox Series X into this thing. And then it's got two cables. One splits out to the CRT TV, and one splits out to the monitor. Um, but obviously, the CRT TV does not have a HDMI port, so i got to um, use my AV cable converter to HDMI. Uh, so i got to plug in like multiple converters and stuff and do this. And yeah, I mean, I'm not expecting on the first run, I'm not expecting anything crazy to happen. Um, I'm expecting them to show the same thing on both screens. Um, I will be interested to see which one lags behind further because I know a CRT TV is supposed to have really good response times, but this monitor is also supposed to have like a one millisecond response time. Uh, so we'll see. And then later on in the video, I have something else kind of weird to try along the same lines of two TVs, but it's going to get, we're going to add another element into it and get weird and <laughs> see what happens. But let me go ahead and hook all this stuff up and we'll see what happens. All right, guys, so I think we're ready to go now. Got my HDMI cable plugged in from my Xbox Series X to the HDMI splitter. And when I did that, I actually noticed that it came with a red light. So I think the HDMI cable from the Series X might be providing this thing power. Um, so we're going to try it without the USB um, cable at first and see what it does. Um, and then I have my HDMI cable going to this HDMI to AV, which is powered up. And then that goes to the CRT TV. And then obviously the other HDMI just goes straight to the, to the uh, 4K monitor. So let's go ahead and get our CRT TV on and you can hear that glorious noise uh, you know I can hear it loud and clear I don't know if you guys can hear it as well um, and man every time I turn this on whether I turn whether I unplug it or not it makes me do this re scanning thing of the channel so let me do that real quick all right so I think the CRT TV is ready hopefully you guys can hear that loud piercing noise I know I can well, let's go ahead and start with plugging in the uh, 4k monitor all right so here we go if I can get it to fit there we go and nothing. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. So this thing is providing power. So we got a red light there. And I think there's, yeah, there's a red light back there. Now let's try, try, try plugging in the CRT TV. All right, so I got it lined up and ready to plug in, but I think we first got to change this thing to uh, uh, video. So it's ready when I plug it in. All right, and it should pop up here, maybe. So I'm only seeing red light on that one. Hmm. All right, I might need to fiddle with my HDMI to AV thing because it might not be being, it might not be powering up. All right, guys. So I just unplugged it and replugged it back in, and it worked. So <laughs> there it is. All right. So we got my Xbox on the CRT TV, and as well as a 4K monitor. Now the moment of truth. Oh, here they go. It's just kind of trippy seeing the same thing on two screens. Um, you know, ideally, you could you could do this, and if you wanted somebody to watch you, I mean, this is a really weird situation, but if you wanted somebody to watch you play um, in another room, you could, like, run an HDMI cable to another room and let them watch on a different screen. I don't know why you'd do that, but you can. Um, man, I can't tell which one is lagging behind. Honestly, it looks like the... I think the CRT TV is a little bit quicker. Let's see. I got four not pulled up because, you know, that's what we got to play. Uh, but let's see what it looks like on here. So, gotta I guess we gotta reestablish connectivity first. All right, now we're ready. And man, that looks just glorious. I'm always I'm always saying if you want a real challenge, play on a CRT TV. I mean, it's just a uh, it's a night and day difference what the uh, <laughs> what it looks like on um, a 4K monitor versus a CRT TV. I mean, if you want a real challenge, try it on here. But I mean, clearly it works. Um, uh, it's just I, I just find it fascinating to play new systems on CRT TVs after you're used to all this crispiness over here and you swing over to here and you have this loud static noise you can barely read the text um, kind of funny and so obviously it's working now I kind of want to try another element to this now um, so maybe we should just run around a little bit and swing our axe around 
But my next element, we're gonna bring an Xbox One in the mix here. So you could use a, on an Xbox One, you could use the HDMI pass through. So basically, we're gonna pass the Xbox Series X HDMI signal into the Xbox One, and then out of the Xbox One into these splitters and into these two TVs. Now we're gonna see, uh, <laughs> we're gonna see what it looks like. Um, I don't know if I should expect some more lag. I expect I probably will have more lag. Um, not 100%, not 100 sure though. But let's test this out one more time. I kind of want to see if the CRT TV or the uh, 4K monitor has more lag. It's really hard to tell. They're really close. But I do think, I think the CRT TV is just a bit faster, which makes sense. Um, but I mean, this thing, this monitor advertises a one millisecond response time, and you can't hardly beat that. But um, it's pretty dang close. But I think the CRT TV beats it out by just a bit. All right, guys. So after like 20 minutes, I finally have my Xbox One X Project Scorpio hooked up, as you can see, as promised. Um, yeah. So I got my Xbox One X now on my 4K monitor and my CRT TV. So let me just try to explain what's going on here. So uh, first of all, I tried it out for a while, couldn't get it to pop up on the TV, and it ended up being that I just had to plug in power here. And then after I plugged in power, I had I didn't have it seated all the way. So once it's seated all the way, now it's up and running. Uh, but basically, let me so so let me see if I can get this straight. So Xbox Series X is going from here. It's going into the HDMI pass-through port on my Xbox One, um, and then out of the Xbox One X, it's HDMI cable coming around, coming into right here, and then I have HDMI cable going from here to the AV splitter, which goes into the C CRT TV. Well, it's not a splitter, but a converter. And then I have another HDMI cable going from here to the uh, 4K monitor. So it's pretty complex. Got like four. HDMI cables running, a couple power cords and stuff. Uh, I'm surprised it's actually still up and running right now, but um, I keep forgetting which controller to use as well. But yeah, we're on the One X right now, and so um, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll just show you that the One X works fine, and yeah, cool. So now what we're gonna try is to do the HDMI pass through and see if that works. We're just like we're adding layer on layer here. Um, if you remember a few years ago, I did a video where I had an Xbox One plugged into an Xbox One plugged into an Xbox One and plugged into the TV and that was that was a pretty interesting video. Um, I think I did one with like five eight with five uh, Xboxes as well. I'll try to find that video and throw it on the screen. But let me see. So there's a what is it called? There it is. One guide. So three two one. Let's try it out. So once we open up One Guide, it should switch to whatever is coming through the HDMI pass through port, which is my Xbox Series X. And there we are. Nice. So it's got my um, game I just played. All right, so let's see if there's some lag. So first of all, I want to see if there's a difference between the two TVs. Kind of hard. Honestly, it's hard to tell on the CRT TV just because you can't see it very well. But I mean, again, I guess the CRT TV is a bit faster, at least from the, from the eye. And But there does appear to be some lag through the HDMI pass-through port, at least from what I can tell. But yeah, like once I press a button, let's see if I can do it. Like it's not much, but it's noticeable because I'm used to playing this and I know that there's basically no lag when you press the Xbox button to the Xbox, but there is just a little tiny bit of lag right now. But watch this right here. That inception right there. Look at that. <laughs> I love doing stuff like this where I put, you press the guide on the, the Series X which is going through the pass through port and then you press the guide on the Xbox One X that's on top of that, you get two guides up right there. Um, but yeah, let's play one more game and we'll test out the lag again. Alright, so let's go. Yeah, so whenever I press forward I can pretty clearly tell there's lag. There's like a good half second lag right there. I mean I'm sure there's some lag from just... Um, the game in general, but you can definitely tell there's some lag right there. I'm not going to affect you in most games, but if you're playing COD or even um, even Fortnite where you need pretty quick reactions to shoot people and stuff, um, you're probably going to be in for a bad time doing this. Um, so <laughs> I don't know why I did this. This is so random. Um, you know, if I had some more Xbox Ones, I could try another one. You know, you know what, guys? I think I have one more Xbox One right now. There was a while when I had a lot because I had bought some GameStop and stuff, but I, I think I have a regular Xbox One. Let me see if I can retrieve that and plug that in. All right, guys. So as promised, I added another Xbox One to the mix. So now we have a Series X 
an Xbox One X, an Xbox One S. And honestly, I kind of forgot I even had this. I haven't pulled it out in forever. It was like clean, in the box, packaged up and everything. Um, and it's like asking me to do stuff. Like <laughs> This thing is so plain, it looks like it hasn't been used in ages, which it hasn't. Honestly, I just I need to sell it. Um, you can tell because it says NBA 2K19 on here. You can tell it's been a while since it's been turned on. Um, but yeah, we got this one booted up a little bit quicker, ready to go. I had to connect another controller to it. Um, so as you can see, I'm stacked with controllers now. I don't know why I have all this stuff. I really need to sell some of it. Um, but yeah, so basically now, let's see. So we're, what are we going to do? We're going to have <laughs> Xbox Series X going into the Xbox One X. And the Xbox One X goes into the Xbox One. Then the Xbox One goes to the HDMI splitter. HDMI splitter goes out to CRT TV and the uh, HDMI monitor. So yeah, that's what we're doing now. So we got that up and you can see it's working. Pretty standard lag. You know, the CRT TV seems to be a bit faster. No lag there. Um, and so now what we're gonna try is we're gonna pull up one guide and it should show our Xbox One X, which will be trippy. Let's see. Maybe. I mean, we're interested in probably introducing a lot of lag here. So there's the Xbox One X, right? So as you can see, there's a little, a little bit of lag there, more so than right here. All right, so click one guide on the One X now, and it'll pull up the Series X. And as you can see at this point, we got fairly significant lag there. All right, so watch this. We can do guide, guide, <laughs> guide. I don't know. I really like doing that. I really like doing that. That's just kind of funny to me. Um, go back to Fortnite, and we'll test out our uh, <laughs> we'll test out our lag again. All right, guys. So here we are. As I said, we're on the Series X. So oh yeah, that's pretty significant lag. I mean, I'm not gonna call it significant, but it's like a it's a good half second delay. Let's watch when we move forward. If I can hold this right. Yeah, I mean that's that's gonna make a difference when you're playing Fortnite or any kind of fighting game or shooting game, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I mean clearly it's working on two TVs. It's worked on two TVs the whole time, luckily. I had some trouble at some points, did some troubleshooting and it works, but this thing's a beast. Um, everything it's getting hot in this room because there's so much so much hot air coming out of these consoles. Uh, but yeah, I just I think it's just funny kind of doing stuff like this. Um, so yeah, like I said, we've been using the HDMI splitter, got us hooked up to a CRT TV and this HDMI TV, and we took it to another level. Used two Xboxes, so we're using the pass-throughs, and I mean yeah, not much more to it. It works. If you want to try it, go ahead and try it at home. I wish I could add more Xbox Ones to this mix, but I don't think I have any more. Uh, so it is what it is. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below, and also subscribe to see more crazy stuff like this in the future. And let me know down in the description what's, what else you want me to do with the CRT TV. I mean, got this thing, I might as well use it. Um, I think it just it's just interesting to use, plugging stuff into it. Um, so yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.